Welcome back. I've tried a lot of different file managers for NeoVim. By my estimation, you can break them down into one of two main categories. The first category is external terminal-based file managers that run in a NeoVim terminal buffer. And the second is file managers implemented entirely in Vim. If they are a new plugin, like a NeoVim-specific plugin, they're probably implemented in Lua. If they're an older plugin, a lot of the time they used Python and stuff like that. So I want to talk about some of the options here, what people are using, and what I see as the pros and cons. So I want to start off with the external section. And basically, there's a lot of options here. I want to start with Ranger because this is the one that I actually use. So this is my NeoVim config. It's not, it's a little messy. But I have been using this bit of Vim script for quite a while. I actually copied this from some other plugin, and I can't remember which one it was, but I wanted to change a little bit about it. So I ended up just copying this and rewriting a little bit of it. So this is what I use. And in fact, I don't, I don't even use like half this stuff. I don't open files in new tabs. I could probably delete like most of this. <laughs> it's literally just running NeoVim in a terminal buffer. Like that's pretty much all it is. Just wanted to point it out to say that I am technically using like a custom thing. However, there are other options that you can use out of the box. This, I believe, is actually the one that I forked mine from. So you could try forking this project or using it directly. It's not a Lua plugin, but maybe that doesn't matter. There's also this one here, which I believe is a Lua one. Yeah, it's got configuration with lazy. So if you happen to be a Ranger user, this is an option. Now we are looking at Ranger here. The reason that I use it is because I use Ranger in my daily terminal life anyway. I use it to go between directories when I'm not in Vim. So I think just going back to the document, yeah, so just going back to the document here, I think that would be the main consideration. If you use one of these tools, if you use Ranger or NNN, you know, maybe you probably want to use a NeoVim plugin for that. So while we're on the subject, let's talk about NNN. This is another pretty cool terminal-based file manager. It's very sleek. It kind of reminds me of the Commander series of file managers. There's one called, like, Midnight Commander, and there's like a whole bunch of them named like that. It's got tabs, and you can switch between them, and it's a nice file manager, nice terminal file manager. It's it's a minimal, but I like it. So this is a plugin that you could use. But if we look at NNN directly, here is the project itself. And this guy actually makes some really cool stuff on GitHub. He also has this this bookmarking tool that I tried using for a little while. So yeah, this is NNN. This is a video on the readme, so you can kind of see how it works here. So there is a bunch of other options other than this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. People use all sorts of terminal-based file managers, and there's other plugins for them. So I would recommend if you currently use one of these, then maybe you want to continue using it in NeoVim with a plugin. But if you are not currently using one of these, I would probably not start using it. I do use Ranger. I probably wouldn't start using Ranger today if I started using NeoVim today. I would probably instead use one of the options on this side of the chart, which are likely to be written in Lua if they're new. And you can see I've sorted them on a tree to not tree continuum. And basically what I mean by that is if we look at one of the more popular options here, NVim tree. So here is NVim tree. And as you can see, it is a tree. <laughs> it's a sidebar, basically. I don't know how we got to calling them trees in NeoVim, considering in most other editors, they're probably called a sidebar, but that's just what NeoVim people call them. So these are all like sidebar file managers. When I started using NeoVim, I came from using Sublime Text, and Sublime Text has a sidebar file tree, so I did use a similar one to this. It was back in the day I was using Nerd Tree, which is a really popular one back when I was using Vim, before I was using NeoVim. I think it was written in Python or something like that, and a lot of people used that back in the day. 
But I would say this one is probably the most popular Lua-based NeoVim tree file manager out there. And I think this could be a good option for you if you are coming from another editor where you want to see your files on the side at all times, then this could be a good option. There's another one that's pretty popular called Fern. If we go back to my diagram here, you can see I kind of listed this a little bit to the side on the tree, not tree continuum. And that is because as far as I'm aware, it, this is a very configurable project and you can kind of do multiple things with it. You can have it act like a true sidebar or drawer as they call it. I guess that's another word for it, like a drawer. Or you can have it in a split like this. It's kind of hard for me to recommend one or the other, like Fern versus NVIM Tree. I think they're both really good if you want to use a sidebar or anything like that. Just try them both out and see which one you prefer. Now, it mentions NetRW here. NetRW is the default file manager that comes with NeoVim, but comes with Vim too. That will be what you get by default if you just try to explore a directory in Vim without a file manager plugin set up. And NetRW, if you don't know, has kind of a, I would say, a poor reputation in the Vim community. It has a lot of weird features. I don't feel like it's had a lot of stuff added to it recently. I don't even know how that works with like maintaining the original Vim stuff in NeoVim. I don't even know what they're doing with that. But anyway, yeah, it's like an older plugin. I don't think a lot of people are going to be super jazzed about using it. If you really want to have a super minimal Vim install, you want to try to do as much as possible without plugins, NetRW may be the answer for you. Or if you're like jumping into SSH, you know, going into other servers all the time, maybe it's worth it to learn NetRW. So on the tree, not tree continuum, I feel like it's kind of in the middle because I think you can make it act like a tree if you want to, or a drawer or sidebar, but you can also do that split window thing with it. And then finally, well, I want to talk about all these other non-tree file managers kind of together. So this one is really popular today. I had another video where I talked about it a little bit. A lot of people have been trying this out recently. Oil is based on another older Vim plugin called Vinegar. And the whole idea behind this kind of series of plugins is that they are fully on the right hand side of the tree not tree continuum they are not trees they are just a single window of your files if we come here and we grab oil and i'm here in my config we'll add it close to where well we'll just add it anywhere here so if i add this in and reload my vim config what we can do is make this a config function and then we will make sure we require it and then we'll set the key map and we will set it to hyphen and that is actually like a convention that was set by that vim vinegar plugin i showed you earlier so i'm going to comment out my ranger setup and i'm going to reload the oil setup and now if I hit hyphen, now we open into oil. This is what oil looks like, assuming you've got the dev icons turned on. So oil works a little bit differently. It's not a tree. Instead, we get one directory at a time. And to go up, you hit that same command, this hyphen command, to go up to the parent directory. So when we're editing a file, we'll hit hyphen, and it'll bring us up. If we want to go up a directory again, we hit hyphen again, and then we go up another directory. I could go up and then go back into NVim, go into the Lua directory, go into my modules, open up one of my files, and then I could edit it, go up, up, go into init.lua. That's basically how you edit stuff or how you move around in oil. This is not like oil specific. That's kind of like how all those plugins work. Oil specifically has a bunch of cool features around editing the buffer. The really cool thing with that is if I go into Oil, let's say I want this to be a JavaScript file instead of JSON, I can just hit A to go into insert mode, change it like I did, and then if I just save the buffer with a colon write, colon W, it'll ask me do I want to move this file, and I say okay. 
and boom, that's it. Basically, you can just start editing this buffer just like it's any other buffer and then save it and your changes will, you know, just magically happen. It'll just work. So that's one of the nice things. We'll set this back to a JSON file. So that's one of the nice things about oil. You can kind of interact with it just like it's a buffer. So yeah, there's a bunch of other features here. It can do a bunch of other stuff, you know, read through the docs. It's, it's a really cool plugin. I really need to break my Ranger muscle memory because I really, really like oil and I want to use it more. I'm just so used to using Ranger for so much stuff. I really got to do it because if I was starting NeoVim today, I would totally use this plugin. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you that's very similar to oil, and that's mini files. Now, I'm just going to show you the video because I think you'll kind of get a good idea of how it works. But if you look up at the top left here, this is how it works. Basically, it's kind of like oil, but we don't get like a full window takeover. Instead, we just see the directories at the top. It's a very kind of lightweight way of looking at your files. And like oil, you can edit the buffer. You see how they're doing that there? You can make new files, you can do whatever. I've really been wanting to try this one out. You know what? Why don't we try it out? You know, we'll just do it live. I've never actually tested out any of the mini .nvim plugins, actually. So this will be my first. So we'll give it a shot live. So it looks like I can just copy it in like this and resource my config. Now the question is, what is the key binding to open it? Okay, looks like we need to run this command. So we just run a Lua command to open it. I'm going to bind a key to open that. So we'll remember to require it like that. And then we'll add a key binding. We'll use the same hyphen key binding, but we'll make it call this Lua function instead. We'll save the name of this. So we use it like that except we need to change it to be like that. Okay, that looks good. And okay, so now when I hit hyphen, I get this little thing here. And if I look at the docs, it looks like we can go up and down with JK and then L and H to go left and right. Wow, this is pretty cool. Looks like there's a little help here. So that's how we close, go in entry, interesting. So then we open this file I had here, and then we can go in a different directory. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. I am pretty used to having like just a direct window open up. So I don't know exactly how easily I could get used to this floating window thing, but I do think it's cool. I feel like it's a really hard sell between this and oil. Like if you're getting started with NeoVim right now, you got some really good options. And I feel like this is a, it's a hard pick between the two of these. That's mini files, basically. It's very different, but it's really cool. Now, I just wanted to make some quick honorable mentions, I guess. So one is there's a couple other like tree plugins that I know are popular. Nerd tree is like the old faithful. I'm sure some people still use it, but there's also this one, which I assume is by the guy that made the Chad and Vim distribution. I've seen some people use that a little bit. There's also this one, lir.nvim. I think this is similar to like mini files in that you can do floating windows, but it's, you know, like mini files, it's all written in Lua. So this might be one to check out for you. One more honorable mention here, LF. I know this is another popular like external terminal kind of one that is written in Go as far as I'm aware. And I think LF is kind of similar to Ranger and that it has those columns. So this might be an interesting one for you to try out if you like the look of Ranger, but you really like Go or something, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the really honorable mention I wanted to get to was this one here, Telescope File Browser. This one I've seen a lot of people talk about on the subreddit. I'm not like a huge telescope user. I don't use it a whole lot. The people that like Telescope really like Telescope. Andrew from the future coming at you live. You can't go wrong with most of the plugins we looked at today. I think they're all good options, but file managers are fun. It's fun talking about them. It's fun 
talking about NeoVim together. So I'm glad you took the time to watch this video to the end. If you liked it and you want more content, please like the video and subscribe. That would be fantastic. And thanks for checking it out.